Hi folks, in this video we will show you how to map your LearnPress roles to your knowledge base roles. First step we need to do is install the following plugins. Knowledge base with Access Manager, KB Groups, KB Custom Roles, and LearnPress. Now that you've installed LearnPress, let's go over the role that it generated. Go to Users, choose a user, and under the roles, you will see LP Instructor. That is the new role that the LearnPress software has created to allow your users to become instructors. For this tutorial, I've created a few categories and articles. We will configure the Access Manager to control access to these categories. The public categories will be for users who are not logged in or registered to your WordPress website. All users can access these articles that are nested in this category. You can name the category anything you wish. I've named it public for this tutorial. The instructors only category will be only for users who have been assigned the LP instructors role. This one right here. And we'll map the, that role with the access manager. Anyone who is assigned as the LP instructor will have access to this category. We will also give full access to the math and science categories for the instructors as well so they can create, edit, or delete articles within these categories. The next level will, we will give all users who are subscribers access to the math and science categories as well. We will start with the lowest level of access, the public category. Currently I am admin right now so I can see everything accessible for me. If I go into the incognito window and, log and access this page as a non-logged in user. It will provide me access denied and prompt me to the login page. Now we need to change this so that public users who are not logged in have access to at least the public category. We will do this by going to the access manager, access to categories. We select the public group which is the only one by default. And we have the option to give them read only. We will give the public category read only, save, and we will reload the page for the user who is not logged in. And now they can see the public category and the articles that are nested within it. If the user searches for something, only the search results will show that they have access to for the articles. The next level of access is your subscribers. These would be your students. We will now configure the math and science categories for those users. Going back to the admin, we need to start first by creating some groups. We'll create both groups right away. Students. And instructors. I will go to the role mapping. Now I'm going to say anybody who is a subscriber, I will assign them to the students group and a KB subscriber, which will give them the ability to read read articles but not, not edit them at all. I'll create that. I'll go back to access to categories. choose students. I'm going to give the students read only access to math and science. Save. If I go back as a non logged in registered user, I still see only public. Now I need to log in to see the difference. So we will log in. I will now log in as Laura, who is a subscriber. On the back end, Laura here is the role subscriber. She has no access to anything in the knowledge base. We will visit the site. 
And now you can see the categories math and science available for Laura, who is a subscriber, and the articles within these categories. The next level, we're going to work on the instructors. So on the back end, access manager, role mapping. We're going to map the LP instructor to the instructors group. And we're going to give this group full editing capabilities. Back to access to categories, go to instructors. Now we have to choose what they can access for that, for that group. So we're going to say instructors will have full access to math and, and instructors and science. We'll save. Now I will test that user. We have instructor named Ken. So I'm logged in as Ken. He now can access the knowledge base. On a side note, since we mapped the LP instructor role, the only additional access is to the knowledge base. The LP instructor role does provide certain access and that access is controlled by LearnPress. For example, this user does not have access to the installed plugins pages, etc. We will now go to the all articles section. So here he can edit the articles. Also, can add more categories on the front end. He's now access, he has now visible access to all of these categories. To further control your roles, I've installed another plugin called Members. Members plugin allows you to create custom roles. From here, you can create custom roles. I have gone ahead and made three new roles bronze, silver, and gold. And in the access manager, in the role mapping, I have now, now I can visibly see bronze, silver, and gold, and I can map them out to any group or any role in the knowledge base. I can create custom groups, more custom groups called bronze, silver, and gold, and give them different levels of, of access. So let's say you have another scenario where you have another user named Mary here. She's a contributor and she has no access to the LP instructor for the LearnPress software. However, I do want to give her access to the knowledge base part of it. Maybe she's an editor for that, but she doesn't have that access for the LearnPress. So what I would do is I would go back to the access manager. I'd go to users. I would choose the instructors group. And here I have different roles I can assign to different users. If I go to KB Editors, for example, you can see that this one's already mapped out, Ken, because he is an LP instructor, and we did that in the role mapping, and we have mapped him out. So anybody, any instructors that come in to your website will automatically be given access because we've done the mapping. But if we have users on a specific uh, level, we can do the same. So Mary joined, but she's not an LP instructor, but I want her to control the, uh, the, the knowledge base. I can make her an editor. And then now you can see KB role editor has been added. This tells us that we've added her manually. This tells us we have mapped them automatically. Uh, to change that, you can also remove her from that. And if you want to give her full access to knowledge base, regardless of of what group she's in or, su or such, but you do not want to give her admin privileges like I have here, you can also assign her as a KB manager. Giving her that role will now give her the full access to all the knowledge base controls only. This allows you to pick and choose your users control levels. Thank you for watching. Head over to our website at echoknowledgebase.com to view our add-ons. Here you'll find the add-ons for the Access Manager and its add-ons, the KB Groups, 
and the custom roles all for the access manager.